Hello then guys and welcome to another YouTube video. Uh, this is just a quick blitz tour of QLab. Uh, when you're opening up QLab, this is the first thing you're going to see. Uh, it's just pretty much a blank uh, canvas almost for you to do what you want. It doesn't really give you much instructions at all. But to get uh, stuff in there, you can just open up whatever songs you want. And then just simply drag and drop them uh, into QLab. And then you've got your songs in there ready to do what you want. Um, but now we're going to close that one anyway because uh, I haven't actually uh, done anything to that and I've got one already made for a pantomime which I'm working on in a few, well, later this week. So we're just going to type it in there, pantomime I made. And it's going to open up. And you can see I've got all my tracks on here already. And you can literally just scroll down and then hit the space bar and the track will start and as you can see that Strictly Come Dancing track has started however if you continue to hit the space bar then all the tracks will just play over each other and it won't uh, work so you can just hit stop if the track is not at the required length uh, this menu on the right here you can just click the button in the bottom right and it will appear and disappear each track you can click on you've got these basic things like numbers which you can just double click on and change so they're all in the right order for you double click and you can change the name of every track you can also change the pre-rate, action and post weight. You can also change the destination and the target of it. And then here you've got the time so you can drag where you want the track to start. And it will start exactly at that point every time as when you hit the space bar. So that's quite handy. As you can see there. And uh, you can also change the output of each thing. So if you've got an interface, you can uh, send each track to say a monitor on stage without having to touch anything on the desk. Uh, however, that does require a monitor. Uh, sorry, an interface, and it is a bit more complex. Also, we've got the levels, so you can move them up and down, uh, so each track is exactly at the level that you want it to be at. Uh, you don't have to fiddle around with the desk or anything, you know, say, you know, people are talking over it, you want it to be a little bit quiet, you can do that automatically, and you can see the track changing as I move that up and down there. change that back to zero. If I, don't, I, mean, I click zero and then it just goes straight down to zero. So that's pretty uh, poor work by me there. So we'll just drag it up and kind of keep it around the zero mark. I think that's not too bad. Now also we've got uh, a trim and some audio effects. Uh, however all I've got pre-installed are the Apple ones. So uh, they're not fantastic but they're there in case you fancy using them. Now uh, once you've done all your editing, you can just click show and all your tracks are ready to play and you can't delete or edit any of them. So that's quite good for live sound. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching my YouTube video. It's been a really quick blitz tour. So uh, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe.